This is perhaps the most exciting iron comparison here in the second half of 2021. We've got the new Ping I-59 and the Titleist T100. Thomas is gonna hit some shots and we're gonna compare them on TrackMan. Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahola, Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing, and we're on the driving range with um, what I think could be the most exciting iron comparison of kind of the, down the stretch here of 2021. Um, two really good players irons, Ping I-59, Titleist T100. They both look fantastic. We've done our swing report videos that you can check out on our channel, uh, but now we're gonna go head to head and compare them. So Thomas, after you know we've shot and uh, published both Swing Report videos now. You're very familiar with both. What do you think we're going to see today? Well, first off, you said perhaps. I don't think this is a perhaps. I believe this is going to be the most exciting, at least of the second half of the year in 2021, of, iron, of players' irons. Mm -hmm. I mean, players' irons, I love to play, test players' irons. I play them myself. And I think this is going to be an excellent comparison, breaking down the differences between the I-59 and the T-100. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we they both tested brilliantly in our Swing Report videos. Um, and I think even just looking at him, you could already see some differences in the appearance uh, for sure. So uh, now before we get into this test, Thomas, let's kind of make sure we're spec wise, we're on the right track here in terms of lofts, in terms of the shaft, things like that. Yeah, so both of them, 34 degrees of loft. So this is the exact same test with regards to the loft. Both the exact same golf shaft, Project X LZ 6.5, 125 gram, both standard length. There's really no differences other than the two different heads. We'll see how they go. All right, you ready to hit some shots, Thomas? Let's do it. Yeah, that was solid contact. Just way left. All right, one pull over to the left. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't hit straight, though. Did you hit that one solid? No, I hit that fat. I was going to say, it looked like you hit <laughs> turf behind the ball, but I was like, you kind of didn't react as if you did at first. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that was a better s swing that I've made. So Thomas, the first three shots there, I want to get your opinion on the look again. I know, I remember you specifically saying in the swing report video that the T100 um, and or the AP2 irons, I guess, I'm um, going back to the 718 series, but it's kind of gradually become more and more blade-like is it what has. you've said. So you, you get that perception again here, hitting it one more time? Yeah, no, absolutely. Thin top line, no longer the, the chrome look to it. It's more of a, a matte finish, which looks kind of nice because it's not as glary anymore. Yeah, yeah. Looks really sleek, really nice, clean mm -hmm. looking golf club. And like I said, it's, it's borderline blade-like now. Yeah, it definitely slimmed down a lot of those properties from the, the past T100 model. It's a lot slimmer, yeah. which I know someone like you, that really appeals to. Yeah, there is not much offset on this iron at all. That was good. Yep, that was a good swing. That was a good swing too. All right, so we've got five shots now. Titleist T100, I'm gonna bring up these numbers really quick. I think shot two was the one I got heavy. All the other shots were hit pretty clean otherwise. Yeah, you can so. definitely see the smash factor and the ball speed drop a little bit on shot two. That one carried 167.6, okay. but the rest of them were in between 176 and 178 carry, which I know is exactly where you want to be, because I know you always say 178 or so is your carry yep. for your 7-iron, which I believe is also the same loft here that you play. It so, is. Yep, 34 degrees of loft. So spin was right around uh, kind of, well, your first shot was actually 69.55, but all the rest of them were 65, 61 to 6,500. Okay. So, what about even the, the heavy one was probably the lower one? It was 64.56 actually. Yeah. So okay. it did maintain its spin. Um, part, that might be part of the reason it didn't actually maintain the consistent distance because usually sometimes you hit a little bit fat, that spin drops so it can actually fly a little bit further. Didn't happen here with T100 actually. Yeah, you see that a little bit more in the game improvement irons. If you catch yeah, yeah. it really fat, it's still going to go total distance, the same distance because the spin kind of drops right. and you get away with it. But 
still remained at, you know, at spin, which was really interesting. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, okay, so now I'm, I'm gonna be curious here. We'll give you the uh, I-59, I excuse me, and get your opinion on the look and feel because, so I'm looking at it right now and I can see a big difference just on the face. There right. was like, it, what appears to be like twice the grooves. Well, there's the four I more grooves. So there's 17 grooves on the I-59, there's 13 grooves on the T-100. So my understanding, this is to help stop any kind of flyer yep. that may maintain occur. kind of the, the consistent you know interaction with the ball yep. off the face. Yeah, it looks like looks like a lot of grooves on that club face. That definitely looks like a lot of grooves. Yeah. compared to the, the how about uh, size wise? You put them down. I, I see. To me, it seems like the i fifty nine is a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, I see it a little bit more around the toe area where it looks like it's just a little bit larger than the okay. T100 yeah, yeah, is. Yeah, I can see that. And that's I just seeing, like the T100 over time has just got sleeker. Mm -hmm. AP2, then T100, just sleeker and sleeker. And Sol's a little bit smaller with the, the T100 here too, but okay. I-59, yeah, it's it's a good looking club here. It's It just looks like a smaller brother of the I-210. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. All right, so I'll give you this one back. Okay. Hit the I-59. It felt really crisp. Yeah. First initial reaction for me is that that sound seemed to be a little bit louder yep. than the T-100. It felt just a little bit more. I mean, that's one. That's well. one shot, but just seemed like because I think you hit that one solid, right? Yep. That was good solid shot. Nice and straight. Yeah, that was, those were two of the very same shot, it seemed like. Right. And that could be user as well, but those are almost identical shots. Yeah, those are right next to each other out there. God, that ball flight is the same every time. You're yeah, starting that one had spot, just a touch more draw on it. Just but. a little bit more. So I'm seeing an interesting trend here. I'm, I'm going to wait until all the shots are done before I reveal it here. Okay. Oh boy, that's such a bad swing. Is that I a little almost, bit thin? I almost shanked that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had three that were as consistent as any other three shots. Like I said, time to ruin that, right? <laughs> so, Thomas, uh, you've got 10 shots in now. Uh, I did want to ask you about feel. And I think we made, you know, we commented a little bit on sound, but feel and sound compared to T100, what did you think? T100 feel a little bit softer, a little bit quieter. Okay. Uh, I-59 just a little bit, little bit louder, a little more crisp off the face. Okay. It's what I kind of noticed. Okay. So one of the things I wanted to do here, first of all, I'm going to take out. Uh, you had kind of one, you know, outlier miss hit compared to the other four shots with each club. So I took those out. And I wanted to bring up the dispersion here on the left side because that and then also the numbers, there's a very clear difference here that uh, we picked up on spin. Okay. The I-59 spun on average 75.84. It's a lot of spin. It's a lot of spin. Um, and which is, I mean, it's almost a thousand more than the T-100. It's really interesting. And so, I noticed it looked like the bull flight was a little higher and a little, a little straighter, but I will try to I I'll look up. At, I'll look at that. But um, yeah. so and granted, I don't know if the groove, the extra grooves, have anything to do with that or not. Uh, but that's that's the interesting uh, development that I saw here was the the spin is drastically higher. Now we can hit more shots to verify that. Yep. But. Yeah, I'd say we, we do a, a second round. We'll do five more with each one. I'll start with the I fifty nine this time round and finish with T one hundred, and then we'll see if that consistency stays. Okay. Right there, but okay. that's that's really interesting. Noticeable height. I definitely looked like the I-59 was flying a little higher. I don't know if you can see there. On see, the numbers. actually, I'm looking at the numbers. The average height for both was 112 feet. Okay, so it's really interesting. So I will say though, more draw from the T-100. Yep. Which could be part of the spin uh, on that, where the, the there's a clear difference on the dispersion map here, where your I-59 shots, I think all of them, well, one's like on the line and then the rest are right of the line, okay. center line, whereas actually all four T-100 uh, are left of the center line. What so. about club speed? Club speed pretty close? Mm -hmm. Club speed on average 92.0 with I-59, 91.2 with T-100. So 
eight tenths of a mile an hour okay. difference. So not enough to see a thousand RPM difference in spin. But right. So yeah. well, that's it. Let's hit five more with each one, and then see okay. if we still see that consistency there with that spin, and see yeah. if there's anything else that stands out. Okay. That's a good. That ball. was a really good swing. That's a good ball. That was probably my best swing that I've mm -hmm. made so far. All day, huh? All day. This one just a little bit more of a pull. So let's be interested to see what happens to that spin. Mm -hmm. See, that one is a hair over 7,000. It's so. crazy. I mean, it's lower than the other shots. Right. That's still, it's, it's a But it's, that's still spin. higher than anything with 200, so. Just a touch heavy. Wasn't too bad of a miss. Yeah, I mean, I've seen you miss worse. I've also seen myself miss a lot worse than that. So, I would take that shot. Is what I'm saying. That one interesting there. You know, that one's right about the average of 7,500. That spin. So. Let's hit okay. Just a touch right. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's consistently given us, you know, mid to even upper 7,000s. And there's the thin one, a little bit shorter, it's a little thin. Okay, so it sounds like the spin stayed pretty consistent in the mid 7,000s with the I-59. Yes, actually, so after, I'm gonna take, so actually the one that you pulled a little bit farther left is probably gonna be the outlier compared to the rest of the data here. So yep. uh, I am gonna take that one out. And what that's going to do is it's going to jump up your average spin with the I-59 to 77.31. And I know that's a lot of spin compared to, you know, 7 iron uh, for you over, yeah. the, over the past. I'm definitely not used to that much spin. Yeah. Yeah. It felt, it felt solid. It was flying pretty straight, mm -hmm. which is spin is your friend. And it was, I mean, it was consistent. Yep. You're able to get that draw most of the time. And if you missed it, it would just, it would just hang a little bit right, which is kind of what you would expect out of a, you know, a, a smaller compact player's iron. But yep. That's, a, that's an interesting, interesting development. Um, I didn't see that type of, type of difference. Um, well, I'm excited now to hit five more because right. I want to see if this is, yeah, yeah, we this can, is real This mm -hmm. is real here. Let's validate this a little bit more here. It just seems like the draw is a little bit more aggressive with the T100. Yeah, it just wants to just draw a mm -hmm. little bit more on me. Okay, interesting there. 74, 77 spin. Okay, so just a little one. less. And that one, you caught that one good? Like it that was a solid, solid, solid shot, yeah. Yeah, with this one, it just wants to just turn just a it's, touch more. Yeah, it's turning over a little bit easier for you. See, that one a little bit, at 72.16 on that one. Okay. So we are seeing that spin climb into the 7,000s a little bit more now. Just a touch more drawer. Mm-hmm. That one was the farthest shot you've hit today. Okay. Good swing. That's a little bit more turf interaction than I'm used to. You, to Finally, right? Used for me. That's why we're spinning again. The attack angle's a little steeper. Mm-hmm. I'm working on that. All right, so we've got, now we've got 10 shots logged with each club. Um, I'm gonna bring up the map on the left here and the numbers on the right. And so, I mean, I think we've got nine, we didn't really have an outlier, so to speak, in that those second uh, set of shots there. So I think we can kind of go off of, we have what, nine shots to really look at here. Yep. Um, and on average, so the spin with the T100 was 69.06, and the I-59 was 77.31. Okay, so about 800 so RPM. That's about more. 800 RPM. Yep. Now, interesting was that the first five shots with the T100, the spin, all of them picked up under 7,000. Um, we had a 69.55 right off the bat, but then 61, 61, 65, 64. Second set of shots, the T100. 74, 72, 69, 74, 72. Okay. So, I mean, that, that's, 
yeah, it might be a little bit more spin, but it also is less spin. If we're doing head-to-head -head comparison, then i59 was. Oh, yeah, so absolutely. Even, even still, it was, I think absolutely. the, what is it, the highest spin with the T100 is probably pretty close to the lowest <coughs> spin with the i59. Right. Yeah, that was the, that's the big takeaway for me. That, And again, we should note, you know, a ton of spin, or well, a ton of spin. More spin can be a good thing. I know this is a ton of spin for you and what you're used to. That's why I'm saying it that, but, that way, but a lot of iron spin can be a good thing. Right. Um, and lower iron spin can be a good thing. It just depends on what the player needs. Yeah. So it's just, I, I'm just, it's a, a, certainly a revelation that I didn't see coming from this iron test. Uh, and that could be the grooves. It could be, I know the, the Micromax grooves on there um, with the I-59 irons supposed to maintain that spin retention regardless of the condition and and maintaining that interaction with the ball as consistently as possible. Okay, so um, I'm going to challenge you to find the consistency on the spin okay. on, on there and let's just see the plus or minus number T100 versus uh, I-59. Is there a difference there? There is. So the uh, more consistent um, with the I-59. The deviation number is smaller at 317. It's 494 with the T100. Okay. So, so a little bit better spin consistency. So I mean, any other numbers you want to take a look at, obviously on the dispersion map, you can see a clear difference. T100 kind of aired a little bit left and a little bit longer, just because lower spin had it fly a little farther. I-59 was a little bit shorter and a little bit right of center overall. Yeah. Um, but I mean, in terms of both of them, the distance carry consistency was pretty consistent throughout. Um, looking at the numbers here, the T100 was just a little bit more consistent. Uh, that plus or minus number is actually 2.0, okay. which is, Pretty darn good. Uh, Three point with the T or the I fifty nine. Excuse me. So. For nine shots, that's that's pretty good. I, yeah. I would accept that. Right. So, yeah. I think with both these clubs, you kind of know what they're going to do, and they're going to deliver it uh, shot after shot. It's just the that consistent um, performance is going to differ a little bit based on spin numbers. I think. Right. And I know we've been talking a lot, lot about spin in in this video. Plus, you know, basically club times it by about a thousand is mm -hmm. is pretty close to where you want to be with the amount of spin. I've been working with my coach over the last few weeks on trying to stay down the ball a little bit more, mm -hmm. take a little bit more turf interaction. If you attack angles a little bit more down, you are going to generate a little bit more spin as right. well. And sometimes in, in testing, I think even just going back six months, even a year, my spin rate, you know, it was pushing the mid 5000s. And that's because my attack angle was, I was more of a picker. And I've been working really hard to try and be a little bit more but not so much a digger, but have a little bit better yeah. turf interaction. You can see here today with this with this pattern here that I was taking some turf, and that's going to cause a little bit more spin as well. Yeah, I mean, you were barely, I mean, you were, what, a neutral attack angle, basically, with your 7-iron. You're used to being, this is now minus 1.4, actually, for both clubs, uh, okay. for what it's worth here in the test. So, um, also, your club pass was 3.6 on both clubs. I like uh, that. This is kind of, this is interesting <laughs> to see here, actually. So, and, and even just, still minus 1.4, it's still considered a little bit more of a, a, a picker still. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's, yeah, there's the times when I was getting close to 0, 0.0 with my attack angle. Yeah. And part of that's a little bit hitting off, off a mat inside. Yeah. You don't want to really hit down and do a lot of testing. Um, so that's why you see the spin rate a little bit on the, on the lower side. But mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a good test. Same golf swing today. Uh, what, we, what the takeaways is, I-59 spins just a little bit more than the, the T100. Yeah. So if you're a golfer that needs a little bit more spin, definitely check out the uh, the I-59. I yeah. T100 is kind of, kind of right in their ballpark, just kind of right in the middle with regards to the, the spin. Um, yeah. This spins just a little bit less than I-59. It's still gonna spin a little bit more than your more players distance irons. It's just the loft and that's the way the club's head is designed. Yeah, right. And then we also noticed T100 seems to be look-wise a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact, a little yep. bit thinner than I-59, and that sound was a little bit softer, it seemed like, um, and feel, right? I mean, right. that's kind of your takeaway. Yeah, and then you're just looking at, you know, I-59, the sole is just a touch bit bigger. I, I keep saying this, this looks like the small brother of the uh, of the I-210. Yeah. It, it honestly does, and it feels pretty similar as well. And mm -hmm. In testing with I-210, we saw a lot of a little more spin and very very good consistency numbers. So for sure, and I think Ping's kind of knocked out of the park with regards to a little bit more spin consistency with the extra grooves. Mm -hmm. No more flyers. We right. Don't, we definitely don't want to fly with a players players club. That would be that would Absolutely. be a no no. Um, and then T100 just it feels really good, performs really well. A little bit little bit less spin, a little cleaner look to it. So a little bit more kind of blade like. I see a little bit more offset with the I59 looking down at it. 
But uh, yeah, end of the day, for the golfers that are interested, they need to come and check out and see which one performs best for them. For sure, for sure. Well, golfers, uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel. We love putting these comparisons together. Um, and if you're interested in either the T100 or the I-59, make sure you stop into a Second Swing store or visit secondswing.com. You can schedule a fitting with one of our master fitters like Thomas. We'll get you dialed in with one of these uh, brand new players ironed for 2021. And they're both, as we show them today, uh, very consistent performers and uh, they'll benefit your game. So uh, Thomas, thanks for hitting the shots today and providing your insight. Uh, these are both gonna be really big winners here. Not a problem.